My name is Matthew Cherry and I am going to do a tutorial tonight on Audition 3. And uh, what I'm going to show you tonight is how to get rid of background hiss or noise. Um, there, depending on the microphone that you have, um, depending on the situation where you're shooting, um, you may end up with some noise, um, depending on instruments or voices, you name it and you might want to get rid of it. This is uh, something you want to be careful with because if you go overboard you're going to end up with a digital uh, distortion and you don't want that, especially with voices. And so I'm going to show you something that's amazing, it's powerful and it's easy and um, just be careful with it. So here's how we do it. Um, today we recorded on a 73 Rhodes beautiful keyboard that we found at Goodwill and uh, as you can tell my right and left channel are very different and I would assume that the jacks are just kind of funky on the roads and um, plugging in directly I'm getting some noise that I don't want in the recording. So here's how you get rid of it. Uh, first I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to show you where the effect is. You go to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, and notice Capture Noise Print is grayed out. That's the effect we want, and it's grayed out because we don't have any audio selected. So the first thing you want to do is select some audio. You don't need much, but I like to select as much as I can um, just to help uh, make sure that it's working good or because I'm scared I don't know why uh, but you don't need much so if you find yourself in a situation where you've got an audio file and you just get little snippets of that noise don't worry just capture as much of it as you can without capturing any of the actual voice or musical instrument that you're looking for um, so here's what I want to do here when I loop it you can hear just the noise that's nothing but the noise I want to delete from this audio file so what's, with that selected, I go back up to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, Capture Noise Print. Quick and easy. Now, we're going to select the whole thing. You can select just a selection if you'd like, but I need the whole thing. And we go back to the effect, Noise Reduction Restoration, and this time we click Noise Reduction Process. Once we click it, we get this dialog box, Effect, Noise Reduction. And by default, when I click Default, your two main uh, boxes here are your noise reduction at 100 and reduce by 40. And um, what I tend to do is be around 10 for voices. Um, you're going to want to play with that because um, what you're looking for again is that digital distortion. You'll hear sort of a warble in the voice and you don't want that. So um, mess with these and you can mess with your with these down here but for tonight I don't need to uh, all I need to deal with is with the reduced by um, you'll notice if you bring the noise reduction down you're going to end up with a lot more of the digital distortion so I'm going to keep that at hundred for this also what's amazing uh, with the roads what I found today is I can bring this all the way up to hundred as well and it sounds amazing I don't get the distortion the digital distortion and then um, you've got some options down here. You've got on and off for the effect, so you can listen to it like a bypass. Um, you've got loop, um, which is really nice, and play. So we're going to play it. I hear a tiny bit of digital distortion, but not much. I'm really happy with it. Um, notice as I bring this down, we're going to get more, and lots more obviously. At about 50 and 60, it's gone. So I can be really happy with 50 and 60 there. And here's your distortion. It's really bad there. Okay, we'll go all the way up. Let's bring that to 60. 
I'm really happy with that sound. Let's stop that. And I said stop. Listen to me. Uh, we're going to hit apply. Takes a second. And my file is clean. Okay, so I'm very happy with that sound. Uh, I hope this helped you, and uh, it certainly helped me. I'm, I'm an amateur at this, but um, learning as I go. So, uh, thanks for watching.